The race to roll up 5G cellular wireless technology is gaining speed, and several U.S. telecom giants are testing this fast internet technology across various American cities. But 5G, it could mean more than just fast internet speeds. It could potentially transform a number of industries. As Will Densler reports from New York, it's why this race is one that the Trump administration is so desperate to win. It has the power to remodel the retail landscape. Smartphones were used in over a third of retail sales in the U.S. last year. That amounts to over $1 trillion in sales. And 5G technology has the potential to bring the in-store shopping experience to your living room. You're going to be able to build bigger files and bigger and better products, um, which will give you better ability to do AI, better ability to do avatars where you could see yourself. U.S. telecom giant Sprint is one of the major telcos working to turn 5G's potential into reality. Sprint has just launched its 5G services across four select U.S. cities. The carrier says it will now bring 5G to several other cities, including Chicago, L.A. and New York in the coming weeks. Verizon's 5G rollout is underway in the cities of Minneapolis and Chicago with speeds estimated to be 10 times quicker than existing 4G technology. And the efforts underway are likely to see U.S. firms at the forefront of this innovation. We are pushing as hard as anybody. You know, AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile are pushing as well. Um, so first and foremost, we want to be out there winning this race um, because we want all that innovation. We want all the new clever things to be coming out of America, not coming out of any place else. It's a view shared by the Trump administration. The president says it's crucial for the U.S. to be the leading light of this technology. He signed an executive order that could block the Chinese tech giant Huawei's access to the U.S. market. Huawei is one of the biggest providers of 5G infrastructure. They deny allegations their technology could be used for spying and say the move will slow down the U.S. 5G rollout. But experts say 5G deployment is a global effort. Providers for these equipment that are providing the U.S. suppliers are also providing uh, networks and equipment in Europe and Asia and elsewhere. So definitely all these countries, uh, companies and uh, across multiple companies are already extensively collaborating to make sure it's as good as possible. Experts say 5G technology is nearly ready for mass markets. But the challenge will be how to use this technology to best fit the needs of businesses across a number of industries. William Denslow, CNA, New York.